Today we're going to create a drawing like Faith Ringgold, like her story quilts. We're going to start here. If you remember, she made beautiful quilts out of painted fabric. But since we don't have fabric, or at least I don't have any fabric, we're going to draw one on paper. Let's start by making a border. So when you make a border, that just means that you're making a section that goes all the way around your paper. The section can be maybe your index finger or half your index finger. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to go from top to bottom. So we're starting at the top and going all the way to the bottom on both sides. And we're going to do the same thing on the top and the bottom. Going from side to side and side to side. So this here on the outside is the border. Now on the inside we have a rectangle now. We're going to create a hatch tag or a number sign with one line, horizontal line, and another horizontal line, one, two, and then three and four. Oops. Okay. It's not perfectly straight. If you wanted to use a ruler, you can. So now this is a quilt pattern. You have the corners of the quilt, you have the inside of the quilt, and you have the border, which is these four sides. We're going to try to look at Echoes of Harlem, a story quilt created by Faith Ringgold in 1980, and she put faces in each section of the quilt. And the faces are all oval shaped. So we could start by putting ovals in all six sections. They don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be the same size. But if you notice in her story quilt, all the faces, they're all facing different directions. Some are facing right out to us facing us. Some are not facing us and they're facing the side and they're looking at the other face next to them. Some are facing the opposite direction and they're in profile so you see their nose first and they, you see their face from the side so you see their smile from the side. You could make eyes like dots, or you could add a circle around the eyes, or you could add a football shape around the eyes. They don't all have to be the same. So you have faces facing out, faces facing left, faces facing this side. You could even have some faces that are upside down. Look at this weird upside down face. So we're going to make all the faces now in each section and they're all facing different directions. And you could put a circle around the eyes. You could put a football shape around the eyes. Or you could just leave the eyes as little spots. So that's okay too. So now we're just going to fill in all the faces. And some of the noses, they could be just like a curve. You could have the, them smiling. They all don't have to look exactly the same. Look at this big nose. So now I have all the faces on the inside 
And then in the border, we could get creative and just put shapes in the border, like zigzag shapes. But if I put this on the top, I want it to match on the bottom. Because usually quilts are symmetrical, meaning the same thing is on one side as the other side. So I have zigzags here, and then let's say I wanted to put hearts. If I put a heart on this side, I have to match it on this side. What if I wanted to do a pattern? Heart and then a shape, triangle. Heart, what would be the shape here? Triangle. Now if it's a pattern, what would come next? Heart, triangle, that's right, heart. If it's a pattern, heart, triangle, heart, what comes next? Triangle. Heart, triangle, heart, triangle. Now, we have these four corners left, and if you want to, you could write a little story inside the four corners. Maybe you write where you live. I'm going to write Queens, because that's where I live. And then I'm going to write my name. And then I'm going to write New York. That's the state I live in. And then I'm going to write P53. Okay, because that's my school. And there you have it. A story quilt drawing, very similar to Faith Ringgold. And if you would like to color this and take a picture of it, I'd love to see what you guys create.